This is the Black Hawk Well 33 Synergic Inverter Mid Welder front panel instructions. Upon first switching on the machine, you will get the front display as shown here, and it will come up to what you last used. As you can see, up in the top left hand corner, we're in Synergic mode, and at the moment, the program that we've selected is FE. 0.8 millimeter MIG wire with an argon CO2 gas. So we're doing normal steel MIG welding. Below this is the graphic that will show you what you're actually going to be welding with, your settings. Because we're in synergic mode, it's going to give us a millimeter thickness. And this could be adjusted by the top knob. And as you can see, it goes up. And the further it goes up, the wider the graphic will show. We're going to turn down to around about 1.5 because that's what we're going to weld with today. The other setting is the trim and this is the setting below. The trim is used to enable you to move the wire speed off the synergic setting so you can adjust it to your own personal settings. The thing I don't like about the machine though is that this doesn't show for you because it's a really important setting. So what we need to do is just move it here and as you can see it's set at zero. So this means we're on the Synergic graph. The graph is set by a professional welder at the factory and he's deemed that with these uh, materials, uh, wire size and gas, the setting that he's chosen is good for 1.5 millimeter. Now this is only his setting. You might have a slightly different gas mix, you might have slightly different voltage, etc., etc. Therefore, we need to be able to move it slightly away from the synergic curve, the synergic setting. And this is what trim allows us to do. What we could do here is we could give it 2 or 3%. And as you can see, the graph will show you it getting less. Turn it the other way and you'll see that it's now adding more wire. And we can see the graph is showing us more wire. Therefore, using this welder, the first thing you need to do is make sure that the synergic setting that you're in is the one you require. Then you need to ensure that the trim is at zero. Choose the setting that you think might be good for the, the job you want to do. Weld, and then if you need to move slightly, you can even move the thickness so that you can go up higher, more power, etc. Or if you feel you need some more or less wire, you can move the trim. Pressing this button and holding it for three seconds allows you to go into the process selection mode. And as you can see at the moment, we've selected the Synergic, but we could even have the manual, MMA, or tape setting. If we leave it or just give it a quick press, she will return back to the front screen. Pressing this setting again for three seconds. takes you into the program selection setting. As you can see, we can now scroll through the different programs. And as you can see with 0.6 CO2, we've got argon with an O2 gas. We're using a flux cord, aluminium, stainless steel. And obviously at the moment we want to use the FE with an argon CO2 mix, 0.8. So our selected program is number two. Press it to select and it will put it into the front screen.